Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Arnaud Gombert. I'm a data scientist and co-founder at Recubra. Well, uh, first, I would like to, to thank Alain for this opportunity today. And uh, I'm going to present you uh, the effects of the data technologies on the waste management market. In fact, I would like to point, to point out all the, all the achievements of the data technologies on economics, environmental, and social issues. Well, to highlight my claims, uh, I will first introduce uh, the global method of data sciences and its key achievements. Then I would like to just uh, highlight the global uh, waste management issues, the actor needs, and how, with data science, we're going to solve uh, those issues. Third, I will uh, underline those uh, data science benefits with uh, an example of a startup in San Francisco which is fighting uh, food, uh, food waste management. Well, every analysis in the following presentation is uh, only commits my interpretation and uh, my, uh, my opinion about the work, the waste management market. Well, first, I think we, uh, we have to, to take an example to uh, highlight the achievements of data science. Let's say that I'm a grocery or supermarket and uh, uh, I can collect some data and exploit some data about the, uh, the waste collection. I mean the date, the, co the contents, or, uh, the, or the frequency of the waste collection. With those data, I, will, uh, I can take advantage of those data to ask some questions and, to, and uh, I can solve some issues. For example, I can uh, ask myself how much, waste did I, uh, how much waste did I produce monthly in the last year and with descriptive statistics and uh, data visualization, uh, it leads to uh, describe the current situation and so to size my waste monthly in the last year. Second, I can ask why, uh, what are the, the, the main, uh, sorry, why do I, why do I waste uh, some food? So, for example, if I use uh, some method like um, feature selection or logistic regression, I will be able to detect what are the main reasons of my waste. So it's, uh, the second achievement is explained pat explain patterns with data science. And third, uh, I will ask myself how much waste will, uh, how much waste, how much, how much waste will I make in the next month? And uh, it's with machine learning, machine learning uh, algorithm, I will be able to forecast and to anticipate the future waste. Then. If I can uh, automate all the, all the processes, I will create uh, an artificial intelligent tools, but uh, overall it will be an unmissable operation tool for waste management. But now we're just going to focus about the waste management uh, of, uh, we are going to focus on the waste management global issue. We have two kind of actors. First, the waste producers, such as groceries, supermarkets, or restaurant chains, and they have, uh, they have some uh, necessities. I mean, uh, sizing the waste, uh, avoid landfills for the waste, and also maximize the waste repurposing. On the other end, we have recyclers, which, uh, who want to determine where are the spots to, uh, to pick up. They want to minimize the marginal cost of uh, collection and they want to get the best material quality. Once you have determined uh, both needs, you have to match them together. And we're going to see that data science can help you to, to solve both actual needs, but you can, uh, you, can resolve the, you can resolve the matching needs uh, with data science also. So for example, if we want to size the waste production, descriptive statistics and also data visualization will, be, uh, a great, will, uh, will give you a great opportunity to 
analyze your waste production and your waste flows. F from those uh, analysis, you're going to determine what is your waste potentials. For the recyclers, you will have the possibility to use uh, machine learnings to optimize the collection. I mean that what is what is the weekday you need to collect the waste materials? It may be uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or anyway, uh, or any any other day. But optimization, the the answer is given by the optimization with machine learnings. And finally, matching the actor's needs is also a regression pro problem, so uh, uh, classification problems and machine learnings. Uh, and also machine learnings. Well, I've been a, a, a bit theoretical for now, and uh, I think I will highlight uh, my claims with uh, an example. In San Francisco, there is a startup called Copia who, who fights against uh, food waste. In fact, uh, they, <coughs> they solve the food producers' needs. The food producers are uh, groceries, uh, restaurants, uh, supermarkets who have surplu food surplus and they don't want to waste it. And on the other end, we have non-profit organizations who want to feed uh, penniless people. Well, first, both actors can notify copier services that for uh, the food producers they have a surplus and for the, the non-profit organization they have a, a lack of food. It can be sugar, pasta, rice, or anything else. Then, as they sized the, as they sized the, the needs of actors, they can, match, uh, they can match the needs. And they want to take some uh, waste, food waste and give them to the nonprofit. For that, they have hired some drivers to recover the food from the, from the groceries and supermarkets and deliver it to uh, the non-profit organization. At the end, they're going to uh, provide reports for the food producers, uh, basic analytics of the food waste production and also testimonials of the people who have been fed by the donations. So we have also a possibility to, to uh, have a uh, green policy uh, to brand for the firms. Well, if we go back to the, to the actors' needs, it's quite the same that with uh, global waste producers and recyclers. So they want to size the food, the, the food waste, and on the other end, they want to find uh, food cheap and uh, fast. So what concretely Copia is, is doing? First, they're going to use data science to size the waste potential of every uh, food producer. So they're going to use waste description and waste follow-up. From that, they're going to uh, make some uh, basic estimation of what you're going to waste in, uh, in the next days. And you can also detect anomalies and detect leverages from your food waste. I mean that you're you are able to assess the marginal cost of your waste. You can also have uh, performance reporting and you can uh, drive your waste management uh, through time. I mean that you can compare how much you waste and how much, you, how much is your waste cost within the year. Then you have also the possibility to go further and investigate more with advanced analytics. I mean that you can ask yourself why there is such a seasonality with the, with the banana waste, or you can also ask yourself how much pound will I waste in the next month, uh, in the next month. And this time again, we see that data science provides, uh, provides a uh, lot of so solutions to uh, answer each of those questions. So for example, if you use time series, you're going to explain why there is a, a seasonality for the banana waste and you can also use random forest or neural networks uh, regression to forecast uh, how much you will waste uh, next month. For the non-profits, it's a bit different because uh, 
the only data that Kokia collects is what do you want, how much do you want, and when do you want it. Nevertheless, if you gather all the data from the node profits, Kopia is able to map all the needs and they're going to uh, visualize it on a, a visualize, visualize it around the city. So now, thanks to data science, they can know where, how much, and when to deliver the food to the nonprofits. They can also cluster the actors to optimize, not, to optimize the delivering. I mean that some actors are really uh, quite the same, even if uh, they are just two blocks away. And also, you can forecast all the needs of the nonprofits and prioritize the deliveries. I mean that you're going to understand what are the emergencies, uh, the emergencies deliveries uh, because of the lack of, uh, of the lack of the time uh, of the lack for a non-profit. Well, from uh, this point, they have determined now uh, what are the needs of both actors, and they're going to use a regression problem, data science, to match those needs together. Thus, they're going to have, uh, they, uh, they have determined where to go and where to collect and where to deliver the food waste. And as they have hired those uh, VES, uh, drivers, they can find the optimal driver to call. They can also, like a GPS tool, the, choose the optimal journey to make, and it's obviously just data science. And also, you can forecast operational resources. I mean that as you know exactly how much deliveries you have to make uh, in a day, you, you uh, can assess how much driver you need to make those deliveries. And it's really important because you won't, you won't uh, hire more driver than you need. Finally, I think that data science have uh, really good outcomes and I, we can enumerate uh, the three key successes of data science with the copy example. First, there is a huge environment impact because we can say, we can, uh, we saw that with this kind of solution, we can tend to, toward the zero food waste production. And it is because you know exactly what you are wasting. You have a total understanding of your waste management. Second, uh, every actor's are making savings because uh, with the food waste management, a grocery or supermarket will donate his food and so uh, they, they will have tax deduction. For the nonprofits, it's really, uh, re in, it's really important because they don't have to buy, uh, to buy food to uh, provide some to, to uh, penniless people. But uh, finally, we have to point out the social impact because we can see that those kind of initiatives and Copia has created jobs, technical ones, uh, jobs such as data scientists, uh, developer, but also operational ones because you can, you, because Copia has hired uh, some drivers to make the deliveries. And uh, there is also another, another great outcome. It's about the job role promotion because all the jobs that have been created uh, have, uh, have the objective to uh, help people in need. Well, through this uh, example, we can see that the food waste management is a success with Copia, and in fact, I think that we can totally uh, deploy those kind of uh, tools, data science with operational resources, to every kind of waste. And if we extrapolate the idea and talk about now waste, producer, waste producers and recyclers, we can uh, target exactly the same objective. I mean that we can target the zero waste production for every waste, plastic, cardboard, but you can also for recyclers Find the new, find uh, new spots to uh, to exploit, and all the benefits you're going to have are are the same. I mean, env environmental, economical, and social. And uh, basically, it, data science, I think, have made the target of zero waste production a reality for now. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Congratulations. I think this is a revolution and it's, a, it's an amazing project and uh, it's a fantastic idea and uh, it's, a, it's a really optimistic um, thing. So I really admire this kind of initiative. I have one um, really naive question. How do you make money? How, how do you pay people? What is your uh, business model? Uh, first, thank you very much. And uh, the business model is, uh, is simple. In fact, with the donation, for example, it, uh, I still talk about uh, the copy example, where they, have, they can make a tax deduction. The, the waste, waste producers can make tax deductions, and they're going to take some of the deductions from, uh, from the waste producers. And uh, also, you're going to, uh, well, I think, collect a lot of data so basically, I think you can also sell it, and uh, there, there is more, but uh, I, I don't know uh, concretely all the, all the business model of Copia. Thank you. In that case, I have a very naughty question. Uh, do they, have, um, they take more advantage to waste and receive uh, tax reduction, but to avoid waste? <laughs> well, no, because, uh, which is uh, interesting also, it's with the reports providing that Copia, you can uh, appropriate, you, you can own your host waste management potential. And as you can uh, assess the waste marginal costs, you can uh, make uh, an arbitrage about uh, how much I need to buy for the next month. So you have also, uh, an, uh, you're, you're going to, to get advice about uh, your buying decision for the, for the future, I think. So you're not, you're not encouraged to waste at the end. So, thank you very much.